Okay. Hey y'all. Today is an update on the Puppies with album. Um, but first before we get into this video, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram at y'all know what it is. Um make sure y'all go back and watch the video of Lady Having Her Puppies, my girl, the uh, dog or well, puppy having her puppies i make sure y'all go watch that or whatever because that's very um informative okay okay so we will get right into it this is today they are three weeks old yes today they are three weeks old y'all it's been three weeks but i have so many updates for y'all and things to look for and things that people will not tell y'all about having puppies like newborn puppies okay so let's see where to start um number one i'm not gonna be able to keep up because it's a long list okay but so basically let's see the puppies when they're first born their eyes are closed their ears are closed as well so that means they're blind and they're deaf they cannot hear they cannot see so the only sense that they use is their nose so um they sniff everything out they shot they sniff out their mom they can smell their mom they can smell the milk that's how they can find her nipple in order to drink or eat. Um, my my girl dog was definitely feeding. Like, first of all, the very first day. Okay, so yeah, when they were first born, some of them was born during the day, and then I told you we had a last one that was born at two forty five at night or two forty three, something like that a.m. So. All of them ate within like 20 minutes, like 20 minutes apart. That's how much they were eating um, that first night. Around the second or third night, it was like every 40 minutes. Then probably like the third or fourth night, it was every hour. After that, it was every two hours. And it's kind of still every two to three, no, probably like three to four hours now. Um, but yeah. Another thing is that they can, and they can find the nipple. So all of my dog, my girl dog, all of her nipples were working. They were, um, they were good. All the milk was coming out, all of that. It was enough milk for all of them. Um, some of them you might have to actually latch on. They might not know how to actually latch on. Just like a, a, baby, a newborn baby. Um, but, I'm sorry, y'all, a fed coming out. I don't bang with the feds, I'm sorry. Um, but so yeah, so um, you might have to help them latch on every now and then. Like some of the smaller ones, I would have to um, have to help latch on. And another thing is when they're all on each other, if you can imagine, I'll put a picture right here. But if you can imagine, um, the mom, the mom dog, so lady, her name is Lady Lady Rose. So Lady Rose, her body is kind of small. So they all kind of piled on top of each other at a nipple, right? So as you can imagine, they're kind of fighting for a nipple. They're kind of like pushing each other down and stuff like that. So that's one thing you want to watch out for is like some of the smaller ones can't compete with the bigger ones. So they do might they might get pushed off the nipple. But you just put them back on, you know, whatever like that. Um, another thing is, so lady, she, your girl dog is going to have some black stuff coming from her cooch when she first has those puppies it's gonna be about the first probably three to four days she wants some black stuff that's gonna be leaking we it looked like ink for real i'm not gonna lie to you it looks like ink it looks disgusting but <clears throat> usually your girl dog she should clean herself up and she should clean those puppies up too so um she should clean herself up so she should clean the ink up it's not ink but it looked like ink. um and but the dog the puppies cannot get in the ink that ink can kill them um so you want to make sure you're actually really watching them so when they're feeding when the puppies are feeding and things like that when they're eating sometimes they might slip under the leg and go to her cooch you don't you do not you do not i repeat you do not want the puppies eating that ink okay you do not want them um licking any of that because it is not good for them so make sure you're really watching them um you want to have somebody that sleeps light maybe um wherever the puppies are going to be like the puppies stayed on on my side of the bed because i sleep light um 
And I could hear them when they whine. They wake up and they're whining. And when they start whining, I'm going to wake up. So, um, so when I wake up, I make sure the puppies are good. When they nurse or whatever. Yes, it's annoying. It's literally like a newborn baby. When you got to wake up every 20 minutes and make sure they're eating and stuff like that. And it, right after they eat, they're going to go right to sleep. They will go right to sleep. My, well, my puppies went right to sleep. Like, just like a newborn baby. They might shit. They might pee. But they're going to go right to sleep. Their shit. I mean, their poop. Sorry, y'all. It's like in a sack, kind of. It's a very small sack. It's probably about the size of my pinky nail. Literally. Um, it's very small. But it comes out in a sack. Mama will clean that up, too. She will lick them clean. Um, when they first come out of her, she licks them clean. Um... Like, yeah. Another thing is, a few of them, I think about three of them had a very long and biblical cord. That and biblical cord will fall off in about three days. Between uh, one to three days. They all fell off one in one to three days. It's very long. It's probably at least as long as my middle finger to the end of my hand. It's long. Well, maybe not. Maybe about my, my pinky to the end of my hand. Um, it is long, but it will fall off. The other ones had a hard belly button. The rest of them had a hard belly button. That little hard belly button will fall off. Don't worry about it. Um, as long as the puppies are eating and things like that, that's what that's what matters. Now, at birth, um, you might have to help the mom once she gets tired. My my puppy, Lady Rose, she had nine puppies. That's a lot of freaking puppies. So your puppy might have more. I don't know, but to me that was a lot. And this was our first time having puppies or delivering puppies. So. I think we did a damn good job. We're going to pat ourselves on the back. Because, motherfucker, let me tell you something. All nine of them bitches are still living. And they still moving around and everything. Okay. I'm proud of myself. Um, our whole family contributed. For real. Me, Boo, my mom, his mom, his sister. Like, his sister on Thanksgiving. I think Thanksgiving or Christmas. She got in the, uh, oh, Christmas. She got in the day on playpen with them to um, help them nurse because I was tired because I'm pregnant too okay okay so and y'all we are well I'm 15 weeks I will be 16 weeks tomorrow just let y'all know we're gonna do an update on that too but um that was just a little side note but so I just want to thank y'all as well thanks fam the fam bam okay um but yeah so when the babies come out you might have to when the puppies come out you might have to help her um, after a few of them, I had to kind of just, you got to go like this, like that, uh, with their skin. That, that's the same thing she's doing for us. She's just licking that sack off of them. Um, some of them might have fluid in their lungs. You just want to make sure that they, you know, like a baby, you got to pat them on the back and then they start screaming. You kind of got to do that with puppies too. Make sure they don't pat them on the back, but just kind of rub them and make sure they, they, eh, you know, just let out a little cry or something to let them let you know there's no fluid in their lungs because once they scream any fluid that's in there is kind of going to come out so um yeah i had to do that to a few of them <clears throat> um the very very last one lady was like fuck it i don't care if the baby don't come out i don't care if it's in me she did not care that one that came out at 2 245 243 in the middle of the night she didn't care um so I had to kind of pull them out. You just want to be very, very, very gentle. Very, very, very gentle. I just kind of pulled it out very slowly and it popped out. And then I just cleaned the sack off with my hands. Make sure your hands are clean or wear some gloves. You really want to wash your hands and um, put some gloves on. It's just like a newborn baby. I'm trying to tell y'all, y'all got to take the same precautions. The same exact precautions. Um, what else? So... We've gotten to the point now that lady doesn't really want to, she doesn't feel like feeding them. So, um, we had to go get some puppy formula. And I'm going to do a video after this to teach you how to do the puppy formula. Clean the bottles and all of that type of stuff, okay? Um, I'm going to tell you how much the formula was and everything. So, um, make sure you look out for that one. So, it's about, so, in probably the middle of two weeks, that's when she started getting to the point where she really didn't want to um, feed anymore. She just, I don't know if she's exhausted, she don't feel like it or what. Her boobs dried up, some of them dried up and they don't work like that anymore. So, excuse me, we had we have to hand feed all of our puppies. Um, some of them, I can get her to lay down 
and it's kind of a fight, but I can get her to lay down and she will actually lay down and feed the puppies. But you kind of got to make her and she don't stay down there for long. But the ones that won't take the bottle, like some of the smaller ones um, that will really put up a fight with me, I'll put them on her nipple and the rest of them I'll feed as a bottle. Um, but I mean, it's just as good. You just make sure you mix it well, make sure you warm it well, cause they like warm. Cause the first night I didn't really warm it that well. Um, and they, they weren't that used to it, but they're not used to a bottle either. They're used to her nipple. So it's kind of like, I'm just telling y'all for future references, make sure you warm the bottle. Don't, you don't want it too hot. Y'all gonna see the video. Y'all gonna, gonna have to watch the video. Um, it's probably gonna be after this video, yeah. But what else? Um, she cleans them up. Oh, so they're poop. So the first week and a half, the poop comes out this size in a sack, right? After that, it's real poop. It looks like baby poop, like diarrhea. It's like light brown. Some of it might be green. It's like ugh, it's nasty, y'all. But the mama will lick that up too. She not always in there, so sometimes y'all ain't, ain't gonna lie. They might like roll in it. Yeah, they their balance is not that stable. I need to talk about that too. Their balance is not that stable, but it's okay. So sometimes they might fall in it because they kind of wobbly. You know, they kind of, you know, babies, when they walk and they kind of like, they, puppies are like that too. So um, they still trying to get their balance together. They still trying to get their senses together and things like that. They don't start walking. Well, no, I lied. They started walking a little bit. I mean, like wobbly walking. Um, before their eyes open so their eyes open between two to three weeks so their eyes open within the last weeks last week i think their ears are open as well um but their eyes are definitely open when they first open their eyes it might be a little blurry you can kind of tell because they're still running into stuff but you can see their eyes um and they all opened around the same time like the same day i think one night before i could see one of their eyes like it was kind of like that i was like oh my god one of his eyes is open when her eyes are open. And then the next day, all their eyes are open. Um, you just don't want to rush them. Um, my boyfriend told me that they can get hurt if you do rush them. Like if you try to open their eyes, they can bleed or something like that. So you don't want that. You want to actually let them do everything naturally. Everything that you will see is literally naturally. You don't have to do too much except for make sure they eat. And maybe clean up the poop every now and then. I know I clean up the poop because I don't want my room smelling like shit. And um, the, it's very strong. It's like baby shit. It's very, very strong. Okay? Very strong. Um, What else? The puppies. Oh, they start walking. Okay, around two to three weeks. They real wobbly, but they are walking. They can stand up on their own, lift their head up and things like that. Um, You can tell that they can see because they will look right at you they will be like like they can definitely see you um another funny thing if you're pregnant they can smell your milk okay they are forever trying to get at my boob okay it's like hilarious i'll be like oh my gosh but when you're feeding i'm gonna show you how to feed them too <coughs> Ooh. <coughs> Ooh, excuse me but um yeah, that's pretty much it, I want to say. Lady cleans herself. She cleans the puppies. You want to definitely change the sheets probably like every two days because they poop. They're not potty trained, so they can't go on a pad. I even put a pad in there. And some of them will pee on the pad a little bit. Some of them will poop on the pad a little bit, but not all of them. You ain't going to get that lucky. If you get that lucky, bitch, call me because I want to know what you did, okay? But... Yeah, you might want to change the sheets. I just wash them regularly with, uh, we use Gain and um, Downy Laundry so Fabric Softener. So, their skin wasn't sensitive, not from what I saw. Another thing. So, I, I gave them a little bath and I clipped their nails. I don't know if I'm supposed to, but they were scratching the hell out of me. I got scratches on my arm. I got scratches on my legs from feeding them and stuff. Their, their nails get long because they're drinking milk. So their nails get really long and um they were scratching each other they had scratches on them and stuff so i was like uh uh. so i clipped their nails i literally clipped their nails with like my nail clipper um you'll see a little line you'll see a white line 
that's where you can clip to. That's where I clip to anyways. I ain't going past that because I don't want it bleeding. And then it bleed out and I ain't got to have all that. So I clipped them and then I took a warm, wet washcloth. A clean, clean, wet, warm washcloth and just wiped them down. And then put them back over there. I changed the sheets. Changed the sheets first. Took all of them out. Then changed the sheets. And then I bathed them one by one and clipped their nails one by one and put them in there as I did that so everything was clean and sanitized. Um, and it was really cute. But you want you might want to do that like once a week, depending on how their nails grow. But you definitely want to give them a little wet bath, a little warm bath. Do not put them in the bathtub because they can drown. Do not feed them real food because they can choke. Do not um, do not put any soap on them. Not yet. I wouldn't do it yet. Um, I just literally put some warm water on a washcloth and they were fine. But I think that's really it for this video, y'all. Um, if I can think of anything else, I'll put it in the description. But make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Make sure you hit that notification bell so y'all know every time that I post. And make sure y'all go follow me on Instagram. Bye, y'all. It's definitely going to be a another video coming right after this about how to make the baby food, where to get it from, what formula I used, and different formulas and things like that, okay? Yeah, see y'all in the next vlog. Bye, y'all!